Hey guys, in this video I'm going to cover the basics of GPIO programming by showing you how to configure the GPIO pins to switch on the onboard LED of your microcontroller. I am using the STM32L432KC microcontroller for these tutorials. If you are using a different board you will still be able to follow this tutorial as the process remains the same across the microcontrollers. With that being said, let's get on. First of all, taking a look at the pinout of my board, I can see that the LED is located on pin PB3 where PB stands for port B and the 3 represents the number of the pin on that port. I will also make use of pin PB4 by attaching a button to it to serve as an input to the microcontroller in order to switch the LED on when the button is pressed. To achieve this, the following registers are required. AHB2 peripheral clock enable register, GPIO port mode register, GPIO port input data register, and GPIO port output data register. The clock must always be enabled for the peripherals that will be used. As noted by the manual, the AHB and APB ENR registers contain the clock enable bits for the peripherals. The AHB2 peripheral clock enable register contains the clock enable bit for the IO port B, which is the port that contains the pins I will use. The GPIO port mode register is used to set the function of the pins in the specified port. A pair of bits is used to set the mode of each pin. Bits 8 and 9 are used to set the mode of pin PB4. This pin will be set to input mode to read the state of the switch. To change the state of the LED, pin PB3 will need to be set to output mode using bits 6 and 7. The GPIO port input data register is used to read the state of the pins. Each bit in this register corresponds to one pin on the microcontroller. To read the state of pin PB4, I will inspect bit 4 of this register. The GPIO port output data register simply sets the state of the pins to either high or low. Like with the GPIO input data register, each bit of this register maps to one pin on the microcontroller. Setting a bit of this register will set the pin high, and clearing the bit will set the pin low. To control the state of the LED pin, I will use bit 3 of this register. So in the project, I enable the IO port B clock by accessing the AHB2 peripheral clock enable register and setting bit 1. I then clear bits 6, 7, 8 and 9 of the GPIO port B mode register to make sure that these bits are reset to a known state first. Since I cleared bits 8 and 9 of this register, I already set pin PB4 to input mode. Now I only need to set bit 6 of this register to set pin PB3 to output mode. To check if the button has been pressed, I read the GPIO port B input data register and inspect bit 4 to see if the bit has been set. Finally, I set bit 3 of the GPIO port B output data register to set pin PB3 high in order to switch on the LED. To test the code out and see if it works, I build the code first and then download it onto the board. When I go ahead and press the switch, the LED lights up as expected. So this is it for the video. In the upcoming tutorial, I'll cover timers and demonstrate how to use them by building on the LED example. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.